Hunter at third for the Orioles. One out, nobody on. Paul Blair up. Blair hit 267 for the year. Ball one. Didn't hit much in the playoffs. Only had one hit and 13 times up. But saved four runs alone in one game against the Twins. One of the top center fielders defensively in the game. They're playing him straight away with Tony Perez in tight at third. A 1-0 pitch. 1-1 one one now for Blair. Blair had a bad beaning this year. In June, he was hit in the cheekbone. He had two operations. Had to have his sinuses drained. He was out of over a month. He was hit by Ken Tatum of the Angels. Curve is low and away to him. 2-1. And, and Nolan has been behind the first two batters. That's Boog Powell on deck. The 2 1 pitch coming up by Gary Nolan. 2 and 2. He looks quick today, Jim. Good fastball so far and seems to be having a little trouble getting the off speed curveball over when he gets the change up in the strike zone. That fastball looks just that much quicker. Nolan can strike you out. He's averaged seven strikeouts every nine innings he's pitched in his brief National League career. And he walks a little over three men every nine innings he pitch. And the delivery is a high fly in the shallow left center. Woody Woodward's going back to shortstop. He may give way. No, he doesn't. Colin right behind him. They usually like to let that man coming on make the grab. It's easier. Woodward handled that himself all the way. So it's two down as Nolan's had the first two Orioles popping up. Boog Powell, John Boog Powell. Probably the prime candidate for most valuable player of the year honors in the American League. Smashed 35 homers, knocked in 114 runs, and hit 297. He was the leading hitter in the playoffs for the Orioles, and he's been their high average hitter in the two World Series. Now they're putting a shift on for him. Three infielders on the right side, the outfield deep and toward right. You pitch him outside, though, he'll go to left field and hit it deep. Ball one to him. Boog was telling us before the game, I usually like to let that first pitch or two go by, but he's, I'm going to be aggressive in this series. I'm jumping on everything. See what he does against this shift. Two down, nobody on. Top of the first inning, no score. A 1 0 pitch to him. Again in the dirt, and he caught his spikes on the mound. Nolan looking back. Two balls, no strikes. Powell is the biggest player in this series. He weighs around 250. Reared in Key West, Florida. Now makes his home in the Baltimore area. Last ball for a strike. Two and one. Powell has hit for an average in the 66 series and last year's series against the Mets, but he hasn't hit with much power. A 2 1 pitch. Two and two. An indication that Nolan has a good fastball going for him is the fact that both Buford and Blair popped it up. It's hopping. Two down, two and two to count. Nobody on. Oh, inside corner. A one, two, three inning for Gary Nolan. And so at the middle of the first inning, the score is Baltimore nothing with Cincinnati coming to bat. Boog Powell will be at first base. Dave Johnson at second. Mark Belanger the shortstop. Brooks Robinson at third. Don Buford in left field. Paul Blair in center field. Frank Robinson the right fielder in the shadows in the right field area. Ellie Hendricks behind the plate. And 24 year old Jim Palmer on the mound. Born in New York, lives now in Timonium, Maryland, a Baltimore suburb. Grew up in Los Angeles, attended high school in Scottsdale, Arizona, and his first pitch to Pete Rose is a ball. Pete Rose hit 316 this season, 15 homers, 52 RBIs. Palmer drops behind two and nothing. Rose has 
has had 200 hits or more in five of his eight big league seasons. Bounding ball is short. Mark Belanger, a strong throwing arm, throws him out, and there's one down. This game is authorized under television rights granted by Major League Baseball solely for the entertainment of our audience. And any publication, reproduction, retransmission, or other use of the pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this game without the express written consent of Major League Baseball is prohibited. Bobby Tolan, a 316 hitter for 1970, 16 homers, 80 RBIs, strong playoffs against the Pirates, slow curve fed to him by Palmer for a strike. He led the major leagues in stolen bases this year, too. He can run, he can do it all. A one strike pitch to him, just inside for a ball. Jim Palmer, after he got his arm and back problems and started to come back, came up with a slow curve ball. Probably the uh, Arm problems made both these young pitchers learn how to pitch better. That's a strike. One ball, two strikes. Palmer first came up. All he had was a fastball. Now he has a slow curve, a change. There's his slow curve. It's hammered in the right center, in the gap, and it's going to roll to the wall. Bobby Colin is coming into second and holds there. Colin doubles the right center, and he hit a slow curve ball. Bobby Tolan has great speed, it's pretty sad, and he hit that ball, an outside pitch, and still pulled it.